Hello Pisces, Sun and Rising Venus. My name is Julia Aurelia and I'm here to do your March reading with the Tarot and the Lenormand. So uh, some of you have noticed that I have been absent for quite a while and that was because I needed to find a new format here for the channel, something that is doable for me and I felt like it didn't really resonate anymore the way I presented the readings here. So I just needed a creative pause. Plus I still have uh, my German channel with now almost 50k uh, follower. So I was focusing also a little bit more on that channel until I felt like ready to include um, my English channel again. So thank you so much for staying here and being patient. And hello for everybody who's new on this channel. Let's start with your reading. I'm, I'm using the Thelema uh, Tarot. It's a great tarot that I just recently rediscovered. I have this for a couple of years already and now um, it's actually quite powerful. I'm only using the major arcana so it's going to be even more powerful. I'm going to clarify with the Lenormand or Lenormand. Uh, depends on how you want to pronounce that. And let's start with your reading. We go into the energies of the past, present and future. So let's see. The energy for Pisces please. Pisces, Summon, Rising, Venus, the past. Temperance. What are the energies for the collective for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Ooh. Okay, more cards are falling out. I do feel though, uh, as we are using three cards per uh, per position, basically, I'm gonna put the other two in again. What are the energies from the past? Again, two. How weird is that? You know what I? Try again, please just one card. Just one more card for the past for Pisces. Thank you very much. Yeah, a, a bit similar to what just showed up because it was the um, the Magician and the uh, Death card, which is basically manifesting an ending. Um, and we do have something breaking apart here in the past for you. Let's go a little bit deeper. Before I start in depth with the reading, I wanna pull all of the cards. Um, so, what is the present energy for Pisces? Present, oh, voila. We do get the Hermit. What is the present energy for Pisces, please? The present energy, Justice. And the world. Still ending a cycle karmic cycle we go into the future energies oh. oh and indeed there are two there are two cards so and at the bottom of the deck again we do have the death card so ending um ending letting go transformation is a big theme for you at the moment uh, everything is circling around the justice card so the justice can stand for karma so indeed that could mean that um, you are just ending a karmic situation or that a balance has been restored. Also, it could mean literally all the legal things and legalities. So maybe this is a situation that is at the moment important for you where you are getting advice in order to end something here or to close a chapter. So it could be literally, it could be a divorce, it could be um, anything that has to do with justice or the legal system. Um, in the essence also justice means making a decision doing what is right so this card in the present moment and as a center of your reading is basically saying do what is right don't create more karma do the right thing now let's start at the beginning we do see something here in the past with the temperance um, it feels like you needed to be patient uh, with something and it might be that there were two different things in your life or there was a situation that had two extremes, you know, good and not good. And the duality is something we experience all the time and every situation has positive and negative aspects. But I feel like, uh, especially with the energies I'm seeing here already, um, it feels like there was a, you, it took you some time to bring two opposites of a situation together and to realize that you can't get the one without the other. Now, the temperance is the energy of, you can see it here, she has a, uh, a golden and a silver uh, vessel. 
And what she's basically doing is an alchemical process where you put two things together and something new is being created. It's a soft energy because it takes some time. It's not that radical as the tower, for example. Um, but that's why I feel like something took you quite a while to realize that you can't get the one without the other. So in the end, eventually, especially with the tower as well, the tower can be a realization because uh, the, uh, the lightning strikes here, the crown. So the crown can stand for your crown chakra, which also means you had maybe an epiphany, you had an idea, you got a moment of clarity, a moment of truth maybe um, about a situation. And I feel like you have been patient and trying to keep a balance, trying to keep a harmony. But in the end, there was maybe even an unexpected event that caused you to change direction. And with the chariot, it tells me the chariot is a card of focus and taking control while the tower is an energy that is most of the time not really in control. So it might have been that there has been an, an, a situation in your life that had like quite a, an energy of duality uh, where you needed to wait uh, or not wait where you took a while to n realize and understand you can't have the one without the other. And then that might have caught or, or the other way around. It might have been that a specific situation has caused an awakening. And that might have been a very radical thing or a shocking thing or something that shook you to your core. But for some reason that was needed to wake you up and step into your power and take control again over your life. And I'm being told that this was the tower moment in the past what the, was the universe stepping in, helping you to get out of it. Because otherwise you wouldn't have gone out of it. You would have maybe seen, uh, okay, there's this part and this part. But for some reason it felt like you needed a shocking experience for you to be able to take control over your life and move forward and be now very focused and clear about what it is that you truly want and need um, and I feel like that has a lot to do also with harmony and peace because I feel like you're someone who really wants to keep the peace and the harmony but in the past it didn't serve you because something needed to fall away now in the present we have the hermit and the hermit can stand for like I've already said advice but also it's the withdrawing energy. So I still feel like you are still in the energy of withdrawing from a situation to focus more on, to, on yourself and to find your truth um, and your wisdom within yourself. It's um, a card of self-discovery, uh, finding yourself, finding your purpose in life or finding the purpose in this situation and doing what's right, doing the right thing. Like I said, I do get an energy that for some this could be a legal situation or something where um, because you're still in the energy of withdrawing here with the hermit, it might be that this has something to do with separating from a person and now it's important to do the right thing. Um, it could be f just like making a decision in a job, but with the world card being here as well, it does seem again like something is ending. A cycle is ending and like I said, it could be a karmic cycle that is ending here. And also with the death card as the overall energy, you are in, a, in an energy of transforming your life, transforming yourself and letting go of a very specific situation. Coming to the future, we do see there are some unclarities and uncertainties here related to the changes in your life. And it might feel like you don't feel very stable and secure for a while because something is falling away. But know that this is just making space for something new. It might relate to someone in authority that could be a boss. So it could be a work situation. It might refer to your father or to your partner or let's say soulmate or uh, love interest here um, but again we have the four the emperor and that's also a card for stability and structure and I do feel in the near future you're gonna have a little bit of a wobble because things haven't cleared yet you haven't found your new stability yet you are on the path because I feel like you are intuitively doing the right thing but you haven't you have not have you don't have the 
stability yet and the new ground because something has been taken away here and like i said this is often that the tower needs to come down so that you can build stronger foundations that you can build something that is truly meant to be in your life and i see this coming but i see this insecurity and fear related to this change so shocking moment in the past withdrawing closing a chapter in the present and still being in this transi transition phase and changing phase in the future but you are going to find more stability here now let's see what the lenormand has to say for the past can we please clarify the past for the collective of pisces okay this could be a family situation the flowers can stand for family uh, or someone who's who was very close to you the flowers indeed can stand for sensuality and therefore for sexuality so maybe there has been a very intense uh, sexual uh, connection in the past that could be as well and also and that's quite interesting is that we do have this card mirroring the temperance because both is about harmony and peace so i feel like you try to keep the peace you try to keep the um the harmony and i feel like you try to stay positive but in the end the tower just came this moment probably quite unexpected that kind of like woke you up what energy do we have for the present for the collective of pisces a letter well there might be a letter coming in a message coming in for you um like i've said it could refer to advice that um you're gonna get help and advice uh that could come in through a letter or a message uh there is maybe even some communication so whatever happened in the past maybe you are at the moment in the process like i already said of withdrawing and closing the chapter but it is not final yet you are you were already um you did already have a little bit more self-esteem in the past with a chariot knowing what to do um but i do feel that what in whatever situation you are in you are probably now having the conversations that are needed to end a chapter what is the energy for the future please for the collective of pisces what is the energy of the collective of pisces for the future and again that could again mean a message coming in because the rider holds a message for you and usually it's good news coming um, but also the rider means it might be that you're actually moving because uh, we have the house here and the house um, obviously is your house the place where you're living at so maybe you're thinking about moving and that might be part of the change and also the, your insecurities um, moving away um, taking a journey taking a day trip might be very important here for you maybe there is some sort of like it could also mean that there is a visit coming in so uh, if that refers to each other it might be that you have some sort of communication about um, somebody jumping in helping you giving you good advice in a situation and this person might uh, even you might even meet this person in the future uh, which is helping you to um it could just be a friendship right this is here uh, which is uh, this could be a friendship so maybe a friend there's a meeting with a friend in the future who is helping you but it feels like in this whole energy i'm getting for you there's someone coming in to help you to let go and to move on let's pull a final card to end your reading what are the energies for pisces what do pisces needs to know what does what are the energies please ah two cards again yeah i had this just now with the um i think with the aquarius reading practice gratitude uh the thing is if we are resentful and in a low vibrational energy it's um, not easy to manifest things dreams and obviously then we're not happy so if you can at least find the gift in a situation or try to be grateful for the things that you have like i do feel there is someone who's really helping and supporting you um focus more on the things that are supporting you focus more on the things that you are grateful for 
uh, we do have uh, <laughs> yeah find a balance full moon in libra here find a balance i feel like your balance has been taken away in the past which is well it is quite an intense energy of transformation letting go and change at the moment for you in your life so it is needed for you at the moment to find a little bit more balance through meditation through doing what you love uh, focus on yourself a little bit more which i think you do with the hermit being here as well um but i do feel take some extra time for yourself because you actually need it um I hope you resonate with the reading. If so, leave a comment, a like or subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.